The European Union has accused Turkish authorities of using unnecessary aggressive force to stop protests earlier in the year, prompting the government to increase its supervision of police forces and to launch investigations into their behavior. The allegations were included in an annual report from the Executive European Commission on Turkey's status in reaching the requirements needed to become a member of the EU. Turkey started EU member talks in 2005, but a wave of political barriers have slowed down its progress. Earlier this year, unrest swept through much of Turkey after a peaceful park protest sparked riots that saw security forces respond with tear gas and water cannons. Two weeks of clashing left four people dead and some 7,500 injured. Some Turkish officials blamed the anti-government protesters for Istanbul's failed bid to host the 2020 Olympic Games. The deputy prime minister said that world powers in the Jewish diaspora prompted the unrest and actively encouraged it, while Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan himself blamed the interest rates lobby for the chaos in a thinly veiled reference to the Jewish community. Human rights groups such as Amnesty International have slammed Turkey for committing human rights violations on a large scale, but despite the manner in which Ankara handled the protests, the Commission has backed plans to open talks on EU membership negotiations, the first in three years.